filter. This is the only one electronics equipment I ever seen for cooling. But the ugly truth is this model produces same amount of opposite temperature from both sides. But here I need only cooling process. So I have a great fan for cooling heat. Mm, really great isn't it? No, this is not too much great. This is the mistake I made. Because this cute little fan does not have enough spin power to cool this filter temperature. You wanna see? Now see here, the lowest temperature is below 16 degree. But on the other hand, the maximum temperature is around 60 degrees centigrade. So now I need a good radiator. Scraps are gold mine to me. Actually now I am going to a scrap store to buy some scrap radiators. Scraps are gold mine to me. As I was child, my father was afraid to give me pocket money. If I spent the money this kind of thing, because my goal is to make it as cheap as possible. This is the radiator which I collect from scrap. Paste must be used for proper heat transfer, so I. Here I am using two filter because I need a temperature of at least 20 degree centigrade. Here I have created a structure to decorate everything properly. I didn't show how I made the structure because I don't want to waste your precious time. This is aluminium water cooling block by which you can cool any kind of liquid. And remember this is a very important part of our project. Again thermal paste is very necessary here and you have to attach everything like with fan. I know your head is spinning and you don't understand anything. Don't worry, wait, you will understand everything. Many of you may be familiar with it. This board switch a device on off by scaling on temperature. But unfortunately, it cannot handle more than 5 ampere current. So I will remove the relay and use a 10 ampere relay instead. Trees are our biggest support for survival. So I like to grow plant very well. So definitely it is my job to give them water the proper way. And for this purpose, I usually use this pump to water the plant. This motor is really great, but the main problem is this motor is too big. So that is why I have to choose another option. So I am using his younger brother here. The function of the water pump is to collect the liquid and then cool it and send it back again. And I believe you can do it very well. This is a 3D printed filter that will be used as a liquid input and output. I will add suction cup to this so that can stick this filter on a flat surface. And obviously this is the bottom part of the filter since the holes are quite large so I will use sponge here. And the job of this sponge is to clean all the dirt. This device can save life but the main question is how to save life with this device. Ok, I will explain you. For some time now, I have been trying to create an ecosystem in an aquarium where there are some underwater plant, even there are also some kind of live fish like a beta fish. But what temperature is best for those organisms to survive and what kind of environment is actually needed? If you look on Wikipedia, you will find the optimal temperature of fish is 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. And on the other hand, the optimal temperature of plant survival is 20-25 degrees Celsius. Hope you understand what I really mean. The proper electronics wiring is very important. The function of the relay is keep the fan motor and filter running until your desired temperature is reached. And my water temperature control system is complete. Here I am using 20 ampere SMPs to run the whole system. Now I will stick the input and output filter inside the water with glass. Temperature sensor should be placed in the water to sense the temperature of the water. Then I will allow 24 degree to be maintained here. Look, the pump is turned on. And look, it's working pretty much as I expected. And the whole process consuming 5 ampere of current means that total process is around 60 watt. 
so you might have realized that this device is one such device which will control the temperature of my aquarium and save life